This time with, with the mission trip, it was like, I'm, I'm going here and I'm gonna make a difference in somebody's life. I feel like my faith, it, it grows every time I go on the field. There's nothing like seeing the power of God change your life right in front of you. It was just the most amazing, miraculous thing I've ever experienced. I remember when I was younger, always looking at missionaries uh, who were just people who go across and tell Jesus to other people in different countries. And I always thought, man, they have something that I don't have, but I wish I had it. They're, man, it's just a cool life. I wanted to have a purpose. I wanted to do something for God. I wanted to, you know, show him that I can put down whatever I have going on here. The best way to compare it to is because I've, I've played football since I was a little, little kid. All through high school and when I played semi-pro for a few years. And no matter how old I was, right before a game, I'd get this like churning st stomach feeling, like nervous, just anxious, excited, until I made that first tackle or first hit in the game. And then I went away and I was just to have fun. And as the plane was landing, I was like, I had that feeling, like I was just game ready. Growing up, I always thought that it would be so cool to go on a foreign missions trip and just be able to reach people. There was a heart for revival when you're on the missions field. There's a heart to see change when you're on the missions field. And I took that home with me. I just broke down and started crying. And the only thing that I could say was that they just had such joy. And even though they had so little, their joy was just so great. There was a man who wanted me to pray for him. He said he had something wrong with his, his brain. And she showed me the medication. And so I, I grabbed him by the head and I started praying for him. There's a, a woman that came up and um, she was pointing toward, towards her stomach and she was holding her stomach. And I, I, I kept continuing to pray and I let go and he kind of stumbled. And Justin said, pray, pray, pray for him some more. So I just grabbed her stomach held my hand on top of her hand and prayed for her and she fell under the power of God and it was amazing and I was just like yes and I was like I can literally feel like tingling in my hands like something left me and when you see thousands and thousands of people saved and set free and delivered and come to the Lord then you realize this can be done anywhere God is not a respecter of persons I feel like I'm closer with him when I'm, when I'm out on a mission I've become a lot more bold just in my own faith, even at even back here in the United States. I plan on going on a mission trip every year. I'm ruined for life. Like I just I don't think I could not go. I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to go on these trips and just to be a fire that is burning in the middle of these nations. So if you're considering going on a mission trip, you need to stop because God said go ye to all the world. He says whatever your hand finds to do, do it. So just go.